AI is taking over the world. It's creating artwork for artists. It's writing stories for writers and for photographers. It's helping us edit faster than ever before. Today, we're gonna to be installing a brand new editing software and I am so excited to try this one out. This is One Photo Raw 2023, and for you to understand my excitement, we have No Noise AI, Super Select AI, Resize AI, Sky Replacement, Content Aware Crop, and the one that I'm most excited for because of its frequency separation, retouching ability is Portrait AI. This software can do it all, and it's packed with a ton of AI features that we have yet to see in any other software available today. So without further ado, Let's get right into it. Okay, we're in one photo raw 2023 and we're gonna go ahead and edit some photos. You can see these are some photos I imported into the catalog here, kind of just like Lightroom. Let's get into actually editing. You can see that I imported a few different portraits uh, as well as some car photography. All these photos that I imported are going to test out different features of this program to really put them to the test and see what they can do. You can see that this photo is extremely dark. It was taken at 12,800 ISO. And this is the photo that's gonna test out our no noise AI feature. So let's get into our first portrait here. Let's go with... Uh... We'll go with this one here because I really wanna test out the portrait AI feature first because that's the one that I'm most interested in. Now, typically when I'm editing a portrait and I'm doing any skin retouching using frequency separation, I import my photo from Lightroom into Photoshop and then I do all my skin retouching and frequency separation in there. Usually it takes me about 20 minutes to get a decent result. Some photos can be harder and some photos can be a little easier making them a little faster. But when I'm editing 20, 30 photos from a session and I wanna do skin retouching on all those photos, to import them all into Photoshop and spend 20 minutes for every single photo is very time consuming. So we're gonna dive into this portrait and we're gonna focus a lot on skin retouching. So we're gonna go over to our faces button here. You can see it automatically detected her face within two seconds. So this is our global adjustment and you can see that it does a really good job. If we turn this off, maybe we'll get a little closer here. And then we turn it back on, you can see what a big difference it made. But you can also do these changes manually. So if we set this back to like, I don't know, 50, we can adjust our frequency separation section here ourselves. You want to try not to go overboard with it because obviously, I don't know, I don't think that looks good. Texture, I'll keep it all the way up and then I can increase the global adjustment. So now if we look at this before and after, this is before and this is after, it's a huge difference. So that process right there would have taken me about 10 to 20 minutes in Photoshop, which is pretty crazy considering it only took me about one or two minutes in this program. Now included in Portrait AI, you also have other things like face, eyes, mouth, and you can make adjustments to all of these facial features. So let's say I wanted to brighten the white parts of her eye. I can just crank this adjustment up. Obviously you don't wanna go overboard, but let's say maybe something like this. And then you can also increase the detail on her eyes. You also have brow enhance, and this will just basically add clarity to the eyebrows, and you have brightness of the eyes as a whole. So that's all pretty cool, but you also have things like slim face, left eye size, right eye size. These are all adjustments that I would never use, but they're there if you need them. You have things like teeth whitening. Obviously, it's not going to do anything in this photo because her teeth are not showing. Lip vibrance, lip brightness, and the hue of the lips. If you want to remove other blemishes that maybe it didn't remove, like for example, this little uh, pimple here or this little white thing, whatever is on her lip, you can go over to our retouch section, select that, and then exactly like Lightroom, exactly like Photoshop, super quick, it removes it. The same thing for this little blemish here, it's done. So that's Portrait AI, but you're probably wondering, can you use it if there's multiple subjects or multiple models in the same photo? And yes, you can. Where you see this little person with the plus button, you can click that and then drag this box over the other person's face or the other subjects face in your shot and then it'll automatically use AI to detect the eyes and the mouth and everything 
for that face. So let's move on to another photo. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna click on this photo here. And you're probably wondering, that's the exact same photo, but it's not. I actually imported this photo into Photoshop and I added a Gaussian blur to it to act as if I missed focus when I shot this. And this is to test out their new Tack Sharp AI feature. So to get there, we need to head into our develop tab. We're gonna scroll down to noise and sharpening. We're gonna click on our Tack Sharp AI. Let's move this up here. I'm not really happy with the results considering if you looked at their website, it shows a shot that was completely out of focus, coming into focus. The before is not even that bad. It's not even that much out of focus. And this can't really save it. Whatever, let's go to the next photo. So let's select this photo here. And the reason why I imported this photo into our catalog is because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of objects, and I wanna test out their super select AI feature. This feature is supposed to select anybody you click on or anything that you click on. So if we hover over the background, you can see that it automatically masks out the background. It masks him out, it masks this guy out, it masks this bottle out, everybody in the back here, which is crazy when you think about it considering you know, two years ago, we didn't have any automatic selecting, you know, AI features. Like if I want to select our main subject or the background, it wasn't as easy as just clicking on it and it makes a perfect mask. I would have had to paint all of this in and still be mindful of edges I don't want to get in the selection. So usually something that would take me, you know, 10 to 15 minutes is now being done in under a second. Let's move on and test out no noise AI. We'll go to this photo right here. This photo is a photo of Sophia. I took this at 10, 11 o'clock at night. It was super dark and I shot it at 12,800 ISO. So maybe we'll increase the exposure to somewhere around there. And you can see, you know, the noise is just horrible. There is so much noise in this photo. We'll go over to our noise and sharpening tab down here. And then we're gonna click on no noise AI. It's gonna do its thing. And you can see it removed all the noise. You still have all these like terrible looking artifacts. We'll click apply and just see how it looks. And now let's go fit. If we go to the before and after, it's a huge difference. Like, yeah. Noise is still there, obviously. Pretty impossible to get rid of it all, especially on a photo that was taken at such a high ISO and it was underexposed. I wanna test out how powerful Mask AI is in Photo Raw because the videos I saw on this were pretty sweet. So to get to it, we have to go to our effects panel here and then we have to click on add filter and then you can see that we have all these different options down here. So if we hover over transport, it makes a perfect selection of our car. If we hover over people, there's not really any people in this shot, but you can see way back here behind the back end, there is a person. And when I hover over people, it does make a mask of that subject. Flora is gonna be all the trees. We have man-made ground architecture, which is all the buildings. When you select one of these things, you can select multiple or you can just select one. So let's say I select man-made ground and I'm just gonna click on one of these filters. If you hover over every single one of them, it actually gives you a little description of what it does and a little before and after of a photo. But I wonder if I click on like sunshine, what it does. Okay, it gave me the effect that I want. It gave me like this super contrasty look. If we turn this off and now we turn it on, you can see it's a lot more, it's almost like someone just cranked clarity to 100. Now I can add another filter and I can adjust maybe the trees and then go maybe color adjustment. And then we can increase the colors of the greens, you know, saturate them, we can increase the brightness. And then we can click another filter, we transport and I'll maybe do dynamic contrast. Let's see what this is. So in just a couple seconds, without even touching our develop tab, like adjusting our exposure or contrast, like all of these values are still set to zero. We've made a huge difference in the photo. This was the before, and now this is the after. 
with that being said we have other photos to edit so let's head over to this photo maybe we'll go to this photo of rich so let's head up to our crop tool and the reason why content aware crop is so important is because sometimes you shoot a little bit too close to your model and then when you go in post that photo to instagram it crops it by four by five and you want to be able to fit the photo exactly how it looked when you were editing without the Instagram crop ruining it. So what you would do is select the four by five aspect ratio and then you would drag this to the very bottom and then you click content aware and then you would drag this up to about, you know, the very top of the frame. Now what it's going to do is it's going to fill in the gray sides of this photo. So you have a wider photo that's perfectly cropped for Instagram without you know having a crop or remove anything from your photo. We'll click on apply. Okay, so this is the result we got. It's doing the left side perfectly. I don't know why it's not doing the right side, but it didn't work in our case. So I tested out all the features that I wanted to test out, but let me try actually editing a portrait using this program. Editing portraits is actually really, really fast, especially with the portrait AI feature, and I can skin retouch all in the same app. Overall, I'm speechless. Editing has always been 75% for me, 25% shooting and 75% editing. Spending two hours to edit a session rather than five hours could be the difference between making $100 an hour and $50 an hour. When you have multiple projects on the go, to find time to edit each session before the promised delivery date is hard it gets stressful over time you get better and you get faster you develop a culling strategy and an editing process but you'll still never be as fast as ai and to be able to edit faster deliver on time and make clients happy is why we need ai not to replace us or to take our jobs but to be a helpful tool when we need it one photo raw is a great alternative to lightroom and photoshop but it does have its downsides. For example, Tack Sharp AI didn't work as well as I thought it would be either. On their website, it shows a super blurry photo and then it comes out perfectly sharp as if it was in focus and it just didn't work even though my photo wasn't even that blurry. But everything else like the Mask AI and Super Select AI, those were all really, really good. The No Noise AI, I could not believe the result we got with that. It turned a photo that was completely impossible to use it was unusable to something that was actually usable being able to add all these different effects like light leaks and bokeh and light flares like all these things that you would do in photoshop are all in this program you also have the ability to add text so if you wanted to get creative maybe with like an instagram story or something you can add text to your photo directly in this software as opposed to taking that photo from Lightroom and moving into Photoshop. So if you're someone who is looking for a good editing program and you don't wanna pay any monthly subscriptions or maybe you just want one program that can do it all, I would highly recommend downloading One Photo Raw's free trial. And then if you like it, I think it's only like $120 to buy it outright with no subscription, which if you know me is something I really like because I hate subscription services anyway i'll leave a link to the free trial down below if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button if you want to see more content like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one